how to add products on GoDaddy website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a product into your GoDaddy website and also your store. So make sure to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over GoDaddy.com then you need only to sign up for your account. So here we are going to head over our account and then we are going to access our products. You are going to click on my products right there on this drop down menu. And you are going to see here the access of your account. So you are going to see here the uh, websites that we have. So we need first to set up the store into our account. So I'm going to select here a um, a website that doesn't normally have a store on it. So I will let you see here how we can add a store and also the product to it. So we are going to wait for the uh, published their website to load up. We're going to click on the edit website widget right there, as you can see at the right side. And it will normally open up here the uh, website builder of GoDaddy. It will take a little bit of time or it is uh, a little bit faster. So here, as you can see, I have a set a product page in the homepage and this is just a demonstration. So we are going to visit the shop. Normally, when you are going to set up a website, you are going to set it as a e-commerce store, for example, like that. You're going to create a website from scratch. We're going to put the information about your website, like uh, it is going to be for the purpose of selling, getting appointments, and etc. So you are going to select here selling and e-commerce purposes. And here we have the product or not the products, but the surface, as you can see here, we have created. Now at the uh, right side right there, we have the website at the uh, top header right there. We have the themes and we have the settings. For the website, we have the most important part right there, which is the site navigation. We're going to see here the home page and the more menus that we have. So now we are going to click on shop. And as you can see, we don't have a online store yet. So you are going to click on create your store. And then we are going to uh, publish the uh, images of the product. So you are going to add the products to the online store with the power of AI. So here we have the, uh, you can go ahead and click on add products manually, or you can go ahead and set up the automatic process within this image adder. So let's go ahead and add maybe the image right there. So we're going to select this one, click on open and wait for the AI to generate here the image and the cover of the product. It can here add the uh, description, also the title of it. As you can see here, we are on the GoDaddy Iro, which is the AI of it. So we are going to wait for a few seconds until the generation of the content will be proceed. So we are going to wait for a few seconds also. So right here we have the AI generated product. We have a product name. As you can see, it is named a butterfly and sunflower t-shirt. It is suitable. We have a, a little description, a stylish white t-shirt featuring a butterfly and sunflower design. So we have here a lot of work to do with the description. You should have a description in uh, here ready for the uh, website for the store. Here we have the price. It is uh, generated automatically. I don't know how it has made a value for the t-shirt, but it is a little bit logic. But in our case, we're not going to give it for this price so we're going to put it here 39.99 and the sale price so when you finish you're going to click on save and continue and boom here we have it this is, this is our first product that we have created you're going to see here the product gallery and also you can go ahead and visit the product page from there uh where is the product page so we are going to click on this and here we have 
uh, when you click on the product itself you can go ahead and add some images videos change the name uh, put a uh, much uh, here detailed of for details for your product uh, like the product category as you can see here we are going to add a new category and then you can go ahead and name it uh, put a description on it also and then put a category link right there so you can go ahead and add a inventory this is a auto generated sku code you can go ahead and put a um, track on the inventory so we are going to put here 20 like this so you can add some variants like the sizes i'm going to add some uh, variants like these i'm going to add the s the m and the l right there and here we are going to click on save boom we're going to put here size like that and click on save you can also add some images for the variants uh, here we have the shippings you can go ahead and add a weight to it for example 0 0.2 kilogram you can add some dimensions right there for you and some extra details like the tax category the url and etc when you finish you are going to click on save so we are going to cancel that now we have also some image options as you can see we can change the image shape we have some smart ribbons you can go ahead and add it we have some layout options for desktop and also the mobile version and we have some default sort order and etc now when you click on manage store it will open up right there the dashboard of your store so we are going to explore here the dashboard and the management so if you want to add a product right there you can go ahead and add to my store from there on dashboard add product and you are going to add it here into the uh the dashboard right there this is a different menu from this one as you can see here we have a physical product or a digital product the product name the price you can add it, the image or the video here the product category the sku the tax category the visibility right there as you can see here we have some uh, more uh, sophisticated uh, as you can see fields for the uh, product here we have description inventory and options we have shippings and also we have some search engines or seos that you are going to put for example here we are going to name or put the product link and also put the name of it and save it so this is a option and for this one you can go ahead and add it right there directly to your store by adding either here a section or going ahead right there to the product gallery and add you are going to add another product from there and if you want to add it from there you are going to visit the online store i'm going to let you see here a step by step click on shop then you are going to select here all the products here we are going to click on this case or this section and you're going to scroll down a little bit and you're going to see the store shortcut here we have the button of add product so you are going to add it you can go ahead and add it manually right there instead of automatic and here we have physical digital name uh, media content videos or images description here we have no ai that we can use the price the category and etc so this is the same process you're going to add that product and go ahead and give it a name so i'm going to add a, a physical product so we have added a pc gamer title so we are going to add some images we are going to add the pc gamer images right there go ahead and choose them you can go ahead and add some images and also insert them right here so you can add also some videos description go ahead and add the description that you like and for the price we are going to give it that price and the sale price is going to be something like we're going to add a, a one right there and also we're going to put like this this is the final price the product category are going to put a new category right there and for the inventory you are going to put an sku code or track it for example we have uh, only 10 pieces of that we're going to put here a alert of two pieces 
and you're going to uh, sit here mark as limited uh, edition on store yes uh, for the variants we don't have some variants it is a unique pc for the weight we are going to put here five kilograms so here are some extra details you can go ahead and add some text categories and when you finish you're going to click on save here we have some issues with the platform but it is okay it will add it later so thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one